here's the deal. I'm about to wreck your world right now. Some of you have that same thought. Some of you think probably on a daily basis, I'm not successful. Look at, I've not, I don't, I don't lead worship for this church or I'm not a worship pastor. I'm not this big songwriter. I don't get to write with these people or I'm not a touring artist or I can't get my music to work. When in reality, you need to know it's not about you. It's about Christ and it's about what God can do through you and what God has already done through you. What's going on guys? My name is Justin Owens. I'm a worship leader and songwriter here in Nashville, Tennessee. And today I wanted to make a video a bit different than maybe what you've watched in the past. If you're a new subscriber um, or if you're just passing along, welcome. And uh, yeah, today I want to share something that is kind of just on the fly. I haven't planned this out. This is not a prepped video of any kind. I'm literally just getting out of the shower. My hair is still wet, as you can see. I wear a beanie so that it'll it'll lay down on its own. Because if not, it gets really poofy. So if you're ever like, why does he wear a beanie so much? Now you know. But I, I was taking a shower and it's about 10.30, I think. And you're probably thinking like, what? It's 10.30 and he's taking a shower now? Why is he not at work? Well, I was taking a shower and I had some thoughts and just, I was sitting in the shower. I tend to sit in the shower, and that's maybe TMI, but it's where I take time to think and pray and to come up with ideas. And sometimes, to be honest with you, that's where I tend to have discussions with myself uh, that are usually sometimes negative. I, I, I struggle with self-esteem, and I feel as though I have low self-esteem sometimes, and that can be kind of a, a place where I can tend to kind of, you know, wallow in self-pity. And that's kind of where I was this morning. And I had some thoughts and I want to share those with you. I'm not really sure where this video is going to go. This is just unscripted and we're just going to go for it. But I have some thoughts and I hope that this is encouraging to at least one person out there. But as Christians, we all have a calling. We all have a purpose. Our purpose is to serve the Lord. Our purpose is to make his kingdom known and to glorify Christ in everything that we do. That That is our why. The what is sometimes not always important, as important as the why, um, but we can get caught up in the what. And as a musician, as a worship leader, as a songwriter, as a creative, I can tend to get caught up in the what. Just I'll just kind of take you back. I, I, you know, I was saved when I was 15 years old and I felt the, the pressing and the calling to be a worship leader. I had just picked up the guitar. And then I had these dreams of becoming this professional musician and touring, and then that switched over to being a worship artist, and, and then that switched to be a singer-songwriter, and then I pursued this whole singer-songwriter thing up until I moved to Nashville in 2014, and then it's been five years since then, and I'm still not where I think I should be, or thought that I would be. When I, I thought when I turn 26, I'll have it all figured out. I'll be this artist with a hundred thousand followers and you know I have a lot of albums out how naive and stupid I was to think that eh, maybe not stupid but just naive I guess I don't know but I had these dreams and aspirations and goals and it was all based around this idea that I felt like this was my calling and that this is what I'm supposed to be doing with my life and you know God's gifted me with these these things and I want to pursue that to be honest with you it's always been about me it's always been about my kingdom what I can do to build my career, to build my ego, to do what I want to do, regardless of, of whether or not that's what I felt like the Lord wanted me to do. Long story short, I work part-time for a chiropractor. That's why I just got out of the shower. I don't go to work until one o'clock and I work until about seven every day. In the mornings, I make videos, I write songs, I, I do worship stuff, I, all of that, all the creative stuff is in the morning. And I've been working there for five years, since 2014. You know, you, you always think that this job is just going to be kind of a passing through job. Like, I'll work here for a couple of years and then I'll start, you know, making some money with music and I'll be able to do this full time. For me, like, that just hasn't been the case. And I don't, I don't know if it's because I've not worked hard enough for it. I feel as though I have. I feel like I have worked hard for it. I, I've, I've dug deep. I've made connections. And that's just not the reality at the moment. I'm still working there and still doing this on the side. I've come to the realization that that might be my career, that I work part-time for a chiropractor as a receptionist for the rest of my life, and then I do my passions on the side. That might be my reality. But as I sat in the shower this morning, I just had these thoughts of... of, of I, I don't amount to anything. I don't feel as though I 
have self-worth or I have anything to show for. That was the, the thought that came to mind. I don't have anything to show for. What have I done these past five years that I could point to and say, this is what I've done. Look, look at, look at who I've met. Like, look at the gigs I've had. Look at who I went on tour with. Look at how much money I made. Like, I don't have that to look at. There's nothing I can show if, if like the, the head of the music industry, of the Christian music industry or whatever, or like the top worship leader in the world came to me and said, look at what, like, what have you done? I would have nothing to show for. There's no career, you know, achievements. I've not won a Dove Award, not done anything notable or recognizable or anything like that. And as, as, as a man, I have pride in wanting to have something to show for as a career. I have friends from college that are, it's a, one's a doctor now, one's a missionary overseas. One is, uh, he, he, was in, he was in the Air Force for, for several years. Um, the, these career guys and then people that I work with, even, even the doctor I work, for, he, work with, he's, he's a doctor. These guys are, are career people and like they're successful. And I base my self-worth on those things, on those people around me. Well, I don't have that. I don't have a career. I'm just doing creative things on the side and then I go to this part-time job that pays the bills. Like I, I don't have a big savings account. I, I don't have anything invested. I'm 30 years old and it's like, I don't have anything to show for. That thought just like, it rings out in my head all the time. I struggle with that almost every day. As I sat in the shower, those were my thoughts. The thought of, I don't have anything to show for. I'm worthless. And then I had another thought, a contrasting thought. And that thought said, but look at what I've done through you. Look at what the Lord has done through you. I don't have anything over here that I could point to that says I'm successful, but I can look over here and I can see the places that God has led me to, the people that he's put in my path, the things that he's allowed me to do. While they're not these massive achievements in, in the, the, the eyes and the lens of society and even Christian society and the community, the Christian community. But I look over here and I see the people that have messaged me and I see the, the music that I've made that's impacted and touched even just one person. And they've reached out to me and they said, they've said, Justin, this has, has made a difference in my life and I'm so thankful for it. And I, and I go and I look at the times where I've, I've led at smaller churches and the people that come up and say, I'm so encouraged and blessed by you know, the worship that you've done. And in my mind, when it comes to putting those things on the scale, naturally, I'm going to say that this side over here is going to be more weighty. You know, all of the, the, the successes and the, the accolades of, of society that we, we think that we need to be attaining and achieving for, that's going to outweigh these things right here that have more eternal weight. That's what happens in my mind. And I know that there's got to be somebody else out there that's just like that. But the reality is, the truth is, those things should be reversed. It should not be about what we can achieve here on earth. It should be about what we're storing up, how we're making a lasting, eternal impact for people in the kingdom of God. That's been, that's my struggle is I look over here and say, but I'm not successful. I don't have a career. I look over here and say, but so what? Look at what God's done through you. Here's the deal. I'm about to wreck your world right now. Some of you have that same thought. Some of you think probably on a daily basis, I'm not successful. Look at, I've not, I don't, I don't lead worship for this church or I'm not a worship pastor. Or, I'm not this big songwriter. I don't get to write with these people or I'm not a touring artist or I can't get my music to work. When in reality, you need to know it's not about you. It's about Christ and it's about what God can do through you and what God has already done through you. And we need to shift our focus. We need to shift our thinking because it's really unhealthy and it really dumbs down and, it's, and, it, and it just it squashes what the Lord can do through you. When all we're caring about and thinking about is, well, what about me? I'm not successful. What about my kingdom? It's not about your kingdom. It's not about my kingdom. It's about the kingdom of God. It's about what he can do and is doing through us in our giftings. You may never be the worship pastor at the church that you want to be a worship pastor at. You may never get to write songs full time for a living. You may never get to tour with the artists that you want to tour with. Your band may never take off. You may never be able to do those things full time like you want to. And that's okay. That's totally fine. I may be working part time for this doctor for the rest of my life and then doing what I'm doing right now in the mornings. And I have to be okay with that because it's not about what I do. It's about why I do it. It's not about my kingdom. It's about the kingdom of God. I need to be focused on 
Who is God putting in my path each and every day? And who can I encourage and inspire through the things that he's shown me? How can I share the love of Christ through the things that I do? If I sit down and make this video, how can I encourage you? How can I share the love of Christ through me making this video? When I get on stage every so often at a church that I'm not the worship pastor at, how can I encourage and lead people well in worship? When I sit down and I pin that next worship song, how can I, how can I, how can I write and, and, and communicate the heart of God in, in this worship song. That needs to be my mentality. It, not, it doesn't need to be metric, it, metrics. It doesn't need to be how many subscribers can I get? How many followers can I get on Instagram? How many, how many likes can I get? How much money can I make from this, from this song? How many playlists can I get on on the next Spotify release I have? It needs to stop being about that. Granted, it's fine. Pursue those things that you, you know you have to work, you have to do those things, and we have to make money. But it can't be all about that. When we make it all about us and our career and our successes, we completely undermine and deny the kingdom of God. And it's just wasted time. It really is. It's just wasted time. And this is what the Bible says about this. This is Romans 6, and there's a whole section about being a slave to sin. Paul's talking about being a slave to sin, and now we're slaves to righteousness because of Christ. And at the end of that chapter, it says in verse 22, But now having been freed from sin and enslaved to God, you derive your benefit resulting in sanctification and the outcome eternal life. Our reward through the sanctification of the work of Christ on the cross, our reward is eternal life. But we are now slaves to God, not sin. And that's kind of the whole premise of our life and our purpose is no longer being a slave to our sin nature, but being slaves to God. And through that, we pursue the heart of God. We pursue the vision of God. We seek the kingdom of God each and every day. We grow, grow closer to Christ each and every day. We pursue Him. That is what it has to be about. Even if you are a chiropractor, even if you are a doctor or a lawyer, it's great. Do your thing, but it needs to be about the kingdom of God. What are you doing? What are you doing in your business that is promoting the kingdom of God? How are you making a lasting, eternal impact? Not a temporary impact on earth, but an eternal. The same goes for us worship leaders and songwriters and artists and musicians and photographers and videographers and graphic designers and illustrators and all of the creative fields out there. The same goes for us. And this we struggle with this a little bit more because art is subjective and it's a little bit harder to make money in a very subjective field. We need to make it about Christ. We need to make the things that we do about Christ. It is not about you and it is not about me. And I'm so sorry if this feels like I'm yelling at you. I am not. I'm looking at the mirror in this lens and I'm talking to myself right now. It is not about you. It is about the Lord. And you cannot sit in the shower and soak in your self-pity telling yourself that you're worthless because you don't have an accolade to point to and show people. Who gives a rip? If one person shows up in heaven because of what you've done, because of one song that you wrote, but you didn't win all the awards and you weren't this person over here and you weren't successful in the way that you think you should have been successful, then glory be to God. You did what you were supposed to do and one person is in heaven because you were obedient. Mm, and that's another thing right there. You have to be obedient. We have to be obedient. We have to be obedient to being a slave to God, to pursuing his kingdom. And once again, I'm so sorry if I've offended anybody. I'm really just speaking to myself right now, looking at the, the reflection in this lens because this is something that I, I needed to say to myself. But I know that if I'm struggling with this right now this morning, if I sat in that shower and I told myself I'm not worth it, I'm not worthy or anything like that, that somebody else needs to hear that it's not about you, it's about the Lord, and you need to tell yourself, look at what God has done through me. Okay, I think that that is it. I'm sure that some of that did not make any sense. Sense. I'm sure some of it was probably anger-filled, <laughs> probably felt like I was yelling at you, and I really hope that you can forgive me if um, if you are offended or whatever. Maybe you're not. I don't know. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. I haven't looked at it. I'll edit it and see. But if, if this resonates with you, please let me know in the comments below, and uh, you know, let me know that you know, I'll, I'll let you know right now. You're not alone. If you feel the same way, there's somebody else out there just like you, and he is is struggling with uh, with some things himself. But the Lord is speaking to him, and the Holy Spirit is speaking to him this morning to let him know that you are uh, worthy because of Christ, and um, it you need you need to be looking at what what God is doing through you, not what what you're doing on your own and 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 for yourself. Um, anyways, all right, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.